What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a review on a new product sent to us and both of us are beyond excited to review this and it is the Waxmade Aries Dab Rig. It comes obviously as you can see in this nice carry case but we're stoked to see what's inside. Yeah and we just dropped our first merch line. Yeah. As you guys can see they're looking pretty sick. Make sure you click the link in the description, head over to the shop, pick yourself up a t-shirt, get yourself a sweatshirt. But before we even get into today's video, we wanna smoke down with y'all. So comment below what you guys are smoking on, what you guys are smoking out of. Today, I am gonna be smoking on some of this Cataract Kush Shatter, and I'm gonna be taking a dab out of the 18 inch Beaker Kong. And today, I'm also gonna be smoking on some of the Cataract Kush from Dab King. And you guys really haven't seen this, but our homie is letting us use his rig. And you guys can tell this thing is just absolutely insane. Let's, Let's get, get chopped. We haven't done a lot of research into this because we wanted our reaction to be genuine for the video. But what we do know is that it is a email type rig. So it's sort of like the Puffco. We both really like the emails. Yeah, my email um, has been my saving grace. I hate having to go get butane all the time. And quite frankly, I like being able to take a dab whenever I want to take a dab. I don't like having to heat it up, wait for it to cool down, guess what temperature it is. And like he said, apparently these are better than the Puffco Peak, which I've always wanted to hit the Puffco Peak. So you guys can only imagine how excited I am to try this out. They are a little bit more expensive than your everyday glass piece. This one specifically is $220, which is still a lot less than the Puffco's. One of the biggest things I'm excited to find out is how fat of dabs we can take out yeah. of this because that's one of the biggest complaints about the Puffco. You can't take globs out of them. Right. So we are gonna test this thing to the max. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing opened, see how it looks on the inside. So far, the case is super nice. It has their wax made logo on it. It doesn't look like there's a rig in here or anything. Yeah, the carry cases are always nice to have, especially with these smaller rigs. We have dime bags, but those are kind of hard to carry around all and the time. And it looks like there's a bomb right. in there, you, you know? You can tell. Enough talking though, we're gonna go ahead, finally get it opened, and hopefully uh, we're impressed. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay, so. Dude, nothing about this looks cheap at all. Yeah, so right off the bat, they have two of the atomizers. Nice. So that's nice there to give you a backup because you know that these uh, these can burn out and obviously you'll have to replace them eventually. We have our glass cup. I think this is what we're gonna be filling up with water. It is glass, you can break it, but if it does break, you can replace it. You can buy one yeah. from their website. So that is nice. We also, this is pretty cool. It's like a pumpkin themed uh, dab container. Yeah, that's so super nice. It's glass it on the inside, so it's gonna be easy to get it's your got wax, wax made. Yeah, that's silicone perfect. on the outside. It's not gonna be breaking. And it fits perfectly in the case too, like perfect. all everything else does. Here so looks that. like the down stem, and this down stem does feature a honeycomb perk. So I oh, wow, am super nice. excited to see I how this know. functions. My straight tube has a honeycomb perk. Honeycomb perks are my favorite. I love the froth that they give. We'll see if this functions well. Moving on. We have uh, the little carb cap, what it appears to be. So yeah, nice carb cap. That is the carb cap. And then last but not least, besides, it looks like we have a few accessories over there, but we have the battery, and this is actually, feel that's pretty compact. Yeah, fairly hefty. Now these come with 60 dabs Per oh, wow. charge. For a full charge. So if you charge it up fully, you're going around well with your friends, six of you guys, 10 dabs each, gonna last you a full night. Yeah. Maybe if it's yourself, gonna last you a couple weeks. And then, oh, the mouthpiece, silicone, silicone mouthpiece, mouthpiece, detachable. Here's and now with the mouthpiece, it's an 18 millimeter mouthpiece. And there are some people that sell off-brand mouthpieces for puffs. 
and they fit on the wax made. So if you oh, want to really? upgrade, if you want to even 3D print your own mouthpiece, yeah. uh, you can do that. And I bet you could get different you can, uh, bulge Absolutely. Too. Um, different, probably different perks. Look at this, they literally hook you up. Nothing about this is cheap. They gave oh, us wow. some Q-tips to keep it clean. They gave us the charging accessory. And then we also have the bristle brush. So if you ever need to clean anything, I think that's probably for the atomizer and Dude. Um, just different accessories. They gave us a freaking dabber. Oh wait, and then How this is sick. this is the band that attaches your carb cap to the atomizer. Oh, so, so it won't fall. We're right. not gonna lose yeah. it. That's pretty sick. We're gonna read these instructions and get this thing assembled with Fill water, up. and then obviously load up some fatty dabs and. See how this thing rips. Yeah, push it to its limits. We just got the Wax Made Aries fully assembled. Uh, as you guys can see, six and a half inches from top to bottom. So relatively a small piece. Did not require a lot of water at all. One major difference between the six and a half inch Wax Made Aries and the Puffco Peaks is the Puffcos are really meant to be dabbed out of a titanium or a ceramic nail. And that's because they want you to heat it yeah. up first, they want it to get hot, and they want you to put your dab in after. And that's commonly what they'll give you in the setup, is exactly. ceramic or titanium. But this comes with a quartz piece, and what's that's good for cold starts. It heats up very, very fast. So you can pretty much start dabbing right when you click the button and turn it on, and your dab's gonna stay at the same temperature throughout the whole entire dab, which is super nice. They also have two temperature settings, one at 475 degrees Fahrenheit and one at 525 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, and those are honestly yeah. very, very cold dabs for what we are used to. We get them up to 710 sometimes because we right. take real fast. We usually have our email around 650, uh, if not higher. So and it is low temp, which kind of scares us about yeah. taking gloves. But we're, we're not going to necessarily be able to take the fattest dabs. We're going to go ahead and get it heated up. We're going to start with the smaller dabs first, and then work our way up to the bigger ones. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, so we just took some decent sized dabs out of the Aries and depending on how you dab, this may or may not be your piece. Uh, by no means are you able to take fat globs. We were still able to get decent sized dabs and build up some clouds, but it does take a while to heat up. You kind of have to wait and hold the button for a bit to heat the full dab if you're taking a bigger dab. Yeah, and after taking four or five dabs, I noticed that the center of the atomizer heats up at a significant higher degree than the outside of the atomizer. So it's important to use this tool that they gave you right. after your second hit, really stir that wax that's left over around, get it back in the middle, and then reheat it up, put the cap back on, yeah, exactly. and you can get your full dab. But for an email, I mean, it worked great. It got the job done. Absolutely. It's still fairly clean. There's not a lot of dab left over. And a lot of these, you'll take your dab and then you'll look in, and the whole thing will be black or half your dab will still be in there. And if you guys actually end up picking up one of these, make sure you pay attention to how we take these next dabs. Because we've played around with it, we've learned how to make this an efficient dabber. Because if you just follow the instructions they give you, like we said, a lot of that replant builds up around the side and you don't really get your full dab. My hand is still a little bit fucked up, so Trevor's gonna be taking this dab today. We're gonna click it five times, turn it on. There you go, get his dab loaded in there. And then it's on yellow setting, so 575, 525 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we recommend that you keep the cap off 
Uh, they say that a cold start, you uh, hold the button for five seconds before you start hitting it. But we might re recommend doing that no matter what. And then once the cap is on, after your first rip, it's essential to stir it around. Otherwise the wax will just build up on the outside of the atomizer and the coils won't heat it. So when you stir it up and make sure that the coils heats up the full bath. And yeah, it works pretty well. As you can see, he just got a pretty fat rip out of that. And that was only his third rip on it. So that's why we said it takes a little bit to get it heated up and get going. But once you do get it going, you get some fatty rips. It took us a long time to be able to get any sort of cloud looking like this. The piece is a functional piece. You just have to learn how to use it. And like you guys just saw, I got a perfect dab. Right. I didn't cough a single time. It was low temp throughout the whole thing. I guarantee you no reclaim is left in that. Yeah. And yeah. I'm already high as fuck. Right. And if you've been smoking for a while, you know that the heat can be really damaging to your lungs, can burn the silica. But this is a perfect low temp dab rig that I will be using for a very long time. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much, Waxmade. Huge shout out. Make sure you guys go head up to their website. Use our code, click that link, it's gonna be in our description. These are not very expensive compared to their competitors, and I've never tried their competitors' products, and I never will, because this ended up right. working out perfectly. Thank you guys so much for sending it over. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Like Trevor said at the beginning, go pick up some merch, that link will be in the description. Follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, follow the Discord. We're gonna be having a bunch more content coming in the future. We're on summer break and we actually have this new studio set up. You guys have seen it, so we're gonna be cranking out videos in here. Yeah, make sure you go check out all of those links in the description, head to our about page, join the Patreon, join the Discord. We appreciate any support that you guys can give us. And if you've made it this far, click the fucking like button, leave a comment, it helps us beat YouTube's algorithm. They don't like weed, we all like weed. Why would we let them suppress us? Let's all band together, get this community growing, stay tuned for the future content, and until then, stay, stay jobbed. Chop it up, you know I'm vibing with my partners. Pop it up, if you gonna make a mess about us. Talk it up, into the future about being rich. Case it down, you gotta get it until you can't no more. To the future about being rich Can't sit down, you gotta get it until you can't no more Never gonna stop, this my mindset, I got this I gotta get my family out of storming, ain't no option I told my baby sister that I got you, I got her I told my old